Oh, I forgot. Brand new brie. We just bought it two days ago. But because the fridge isn't cold enough. Oh, it's moldy. This is a disaster. <laughs> it's okay. smelly and moldy. <laughs> and it's sad. Should we? Show me the mold. Oh. See that? Sixty-five. Oh. Bad news, guys. I think the fridge is officially dead. It's been dying a slow death ever since it was, well, probably ever since day one. <laughs> we called the manufacturer when we got this boat. We said, well, the fridge doesn't work very well. And Seafrost, the company that makes the refrigeration unit, said, well, is it a two plate in one side and no plate in the other side system? I'm like, yeah, we have a leopard. And she said, oh, yeah. We know. We told them not to do that. It doesn't work. Oh. So we've always fought with this fridge, but now it's officially dead. There's some sort of goo at the bottom that's kind of oily. In the past two days, it's gone from like 40 degrees to 50 to, what did I say? 60 and 65 60.1. 65. That's not safe. We're going to die. Right. <laughs> this fridge is going to kill us. But thankfully, we have two fridges slash freezer cooler thingies. You might be saying, what, like Nikki did. But there's a reason, because we didn't trust the fridge. One is a freezer, it's outside, and one is a fridge now. It was just. It was just there, storage. We kept saying, we're gonna give it away, we're gonna throw it, we're gonna you know, donate it to somebody, but um, I don't know. I'm Looks glad like we're we did keeping not. it. Exactly, we're keeping it, and one's the Dometic, and people have asked about it, so let me show you. Okay, this one is the first one that we got. It's a Dometic. It came with this little pouchy thing that helps supposedly protect it, helps keep it more insulated. There is like some insulation in here. And we liked it very much. I read a bunch of reviews online. People said, oh yeah, the last two or three years, it's not technically a marine cooler. So it will eventually die. Ours is about two years old now and it's still running good. The insulation is starting, starting to fall apart in here. But the only complaint I have about this guy is here the tiny seal it it like condensates all on the top and then it freezes when you're using it as a freezer and then it won't shut anymore so then it just freezes more and freezes more so it needs like immediately defrostation once it frosts over yeah but other than that it's been a great little fridge and it will now be our only fridge Mm-hmm. And so it's like that lid just needs to be more insulated. Yeah, it just needs more insulation and maybe a better seal or something. Like they need like an extreme version. You know, this would probably be fine in a dry climate. Um, camping. Maybe, yeah, yeah, camping or, yeah. But for long-term use, it hasn't been too awesome as far as having to, I guess about once a month I'll have to defrost it, which isn't horrible. But that's as a freezer. Yeah, as a freezer. Oh, as a fridge, it just condensates and I just have to wipe it dry. I got it set to 39, 37. It says on the bottom 42, 40, and the cheese that I put a couple pieces of cheese in here, it's 50. Yeah, that's it's much it hasn't safer. been on that long. Much safer. So that's this one. It has, and I do like the cover because it's gray. It matches our curiosity colors. Yeah. The other fridge freezer is here. Okay. Yep. Ignore the uh, dent there. That happened because I got one that's just a hair too big. There's a size that's like a tiny bit smaller that would have fit in here perfectly. So, uh, yeah, you know, it just is what it is. The only downside to this fridge freezer is the fact that it's stainless steel. So it takes a little more maintenance keeping it clean. I think we've had to de-rust it, what, twice in the year we've had it? Yeah. So it's like an extra chore that only has to happen every few months or every couple times a year. 
Other than that, this thing is super beefy as far as the insulation goes, as far as the seal goes on the top. It still has to be defrosted though. Yes, defrosted. So the, the fridge freezer that came on the Leopard has to be defrosted like literally every week. The Dometic one has to be defrosted about once a month. Isinga, yes, I'm sorry. And this one has to be de uh, defrosted about once every two to three months. So that tells you there, the insulation is much better on this one. And I've got this one set at, well, it is kind of hard to read the LED light. Three degrees. Three degrees. Let's shoot in here. It's super st stacked in here. Yeah, it's very full at the moment. All right, 15 degrees on the very top. And the ice cream is 13 degrees. Whee! Um, I, down below, it's going to be like three, three or four degrees. Yeah. So all of our fish in there is good to go. Yeah, I'm not going to pull all that out. It's a pain. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's the fridge was. That's the fridge freezer setup. I'll put a lot more details on our website and in the description box down below. Below, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, links, specifications, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, uh, if you need to move all over all of the stuff out of the fridge now. <laughs> I forgot about that. I was like, oh, the video's over. Yay! No. Well, you transfer all the stuff in the fridge. Bye. I'm gonna fly the drone and find us a snorkeling spot. Yep. And clearly, it is laundry day. doesn't look a whole lot better. It looks like a lot more sand and less coral. So the snorkeling over there might not be any better. Might be better off sticking over here. It's exactly where the current runs through. That other boat is right in the middle of it. We chose a good spot to anchor. Close dry? Yeah. Mostly? I think so. Uh, no, maybe not. It's a little damp. Okay. Okay. So Leave where are we there. going? We're gonna go really just to the coral right here in front of the boat. I looked around, but everything looks more the same. It didn't seem like there was one area with better coral or anything like that than another. So we can jump in, see what we find. And the wind is picked up. So, <laughs> we won't feel that under the water, but at least we don't have to paddle anywhere super far away.
Oh, I thought that shark was gonna eat that ray. That was so cool. And then the other like spotted eagle ray was coming up and I was running out of breath. And I was just, there's a lot of stuff happening underneath us. Yeah, it's not bad at all. No, not at all. Nice little spot, super deep. And uh, how about you besides being frozen? Mostly just frozen. <laughs> You know the visibility is really good when you can see all the way to the bottom from the top. And it is like between 50 and 60. Faster, faster! Oh, face the water! Man, we got out just in the nick of time. The sun just set behind the hill. It's beautiful. And that's Tahiti off in the distance. Still lit up. <laughs> okay, it's getting cold. <laughs> Shower time. Well, hi, Cleo. How are you? This is one of our favorite teas. Vanilla cormorant or something decaf. That's super yummy. I like all the splash of soy milk. And feeling naughty, a little scoop of sugar. Warm shower. Mm -hmm. Some hot tea. Awesome. Nice view. Of all the fires. <laughs> <laughs> A smoky view. 